Okay, here we're going to talk about the medial longitudinal fasciculus, okay? This allows communication between the left and right eye when a person looks, let's say, to the left. Let's say a person looks to the left. So the lateral rectus on the left is going to need to contract, and the medial rectus on the, on the right eye is going to need to contract. The problem is the lateral rectus is innervated by cranial nerve 6, whereas the medial rectus is innervated by cranial nerve 3. So how does that work? That's where the medial longitudinal fasciculus comes in. This allows communication between the two nucleus, the, the ocular motor and the abducens nucleus. The medial longitudinal fasciculus is right here in purple. Okay, so what happens is, let's say a person decides he wants to look to the left. So the motor cortex sends a signal to here, to the blue area, first to the PPRF, the paramedian pontine reticular formation, which sends a signal to the abducens. This green dot over here is the abducens in the pons. And so one signal goes directly to the lateral rectus on that side. On the, on the lateral rectus on the left side is going to contract. And what happens is that there's another signal sent to the oculomotor nucleus. You see that pink area is the oculomotor nucleus right here. Okay, that's another signal that's sent from the abducens. And it goes to the right medial rectus. And so what happens is at the very same time, the lateral rectus on the left and the medial rectus on the right can contract. That is the medial longitudinal fasciculus. In the next video, we'll talk about what happens in an internuclear ophthalmoplegia. Thanks for watching.